Hello, I'm Anne Kerr. Welcome to my art studio. Stretching watercolour paper. What does it mean and should you do it? In this video I'm going to explain exactly what we mean by stretching paper and whether or not there are any alternatives to stretching paper. Are you ready? There's a lot of discussion about whether or not we should stretch our watercolour paper. Now that sounds like a very strange thing to do. How can you possibly stretch paper? Because it will tear. No, what they mean is when you stretch watercolour paper, you soak it in water for quite a few minutes, anything up to a quarter of an hour sometimes, and then you either glue it or pin it onto a board a bit like this and then you leave it for hours to dry on its own many hours to dry on its own and when it's dry it will be absolutely flat now there are lots of videos on YouTube that show you exactly how to stretch watercolor paper in great detail so I'm not going to do that here because there's lots of other ones that you can go and find I'm going to tell you some alternatives to stretching watercolour paper and those are the methods that I use myself. Now if we look down at the desk, this piece of paper is dry and I've stuck it around the edges onto my board. Now I do see a lot of people doing this. Now the problem is when you make your, your paper wet as soon as you start to make it wet, the fibres in the paper will start to expand and to stretch. Now the problem is, if they're trying to expand and you've blocked the ends, they can't actually expand. And they might try to expand this way, but you've blocked the ends. So the only way that those fibres in that paper can expand is to go upwards. And that's why you end up with paper with little hills and valleys in it buckling like that because you've blocked the ends. So if your paper is dry, don't stick it down to a board like this because you will always get buckling. Now I'll show you what I do. Here's a board and a, a piece of paper on it. Now what I do is, this is a dry piece of 100% um, cotton paper, which by the way is the only sort of paper I ever use. I put my paper onto the board and I clip it around the edge with these big clips. You can buy these in the in the um, stationers, no problem at all. So I clip these on and then when I start painting and my paper starts to buckle a little bit, all I have to do is release the clips, flatten out my paper and put my clips back on again. And my paper is nice and flat. And I can do that as many times as I want while I'm painting. Now that saves all the hassle of the um, traditional method, which is wetting your paper, gluing it down or stapling it down, leaving it for many hours, etc, etc. Okay, when I finish this painting, it may not be absolutely flat, but a little bit later in the video, I will show you two really, really easy methods of flattening a watercolour paper if you should end up with a little buckle in it. So that'll be coming up in a few minutes. So this is one of the methods that I use. I clip my paper and I just move it around as it begins to buckle and I can flatten it out as many times as I want. Another method I use is to take a piece of plexiglass which is the plastic type glass that you find in 
um, frames with cheap prints in them. So just buy one of those, take the uh, plexiglass out, and there you go. So this is what I use when I'm doing paintings with lots and lots of really wet washes. So I take a spray bottle and I spray my plexiglass all over and then with a big wash brush or you could use a sponge or something move the water around. Great fun this is, love it. So make it lovely and wet and then I take my watercolour paper and I put it straight down onto the wet onto the wet surface and then I can take some more water and I can wet my paper all over and that will stay stuck to the plexiglass all the time that I'm painting. It's got room to expand in both directions if it wants to. It's not going to wrinkle because it's got space to move around. There's nothing restricting it on the, on the sides. If I've got lots of water running around, I can just wipe it off easily with a cloth so that the water doesn't run back onto my painting. If it begins to dry out on the back, then I just lift it and I respray. Move the water around again and put my painting back. By the way, never put your hands straight onto your watercolour paper because your hands have oil on them. You may not be able to see the oil, but you can leave fingerprints behind. And then when you come to paint, those fingerprints might leave a little um, white patch in your painting where the oil has got deposited onto the paper. I said at the beginning that I would give you two different ideas of, or two easy ways that you can flatten a painting if it does happen to end up with a few cockles or wrinkles in it. And this is how I do it. You take your finished painting and you find yourself a clean tea towel and you put your dry finished painting face down on the clean tea towel. And then you take some water and you wet the back. Now the idea of putting the tea towel on, on the table is that if I was wetting the back when it was on a hard surface, the water that I'm using could easily run underneath the paper and spoil my painting. But if it's sitting on something that's absorbent, like a tea towel, then that can't happen. The water can't run anywhere. So you wet the back you put something really heavy on the top so I could use my other board like that and then you pile books onto the top of that and you leave it overnight and when you come down in the morning you take it off you turn your painting over and it'll be absolutely flat. Very, very easy way to do it. Another thing that you could do is you could take an old pillowcase, preferably a white one, put your painting inside the pillowcase, turn it over on its front, face down, take your iron, yes, your iron, and Turn off the steam so it's a dry iron. The idea of putting it in the pillowcase is that it's protected on both sides, both the front and the back, so if you have any little bits of water or paint or anything around then it can't get damaged. You could lay it on a tea towel if you wanted to, but a pillowcase works really well. And iron the back of your painting. And, it, and then when you've finished ironing it, once again Put a heavy weight on it and let it cool down. And once it's cooled, you take your heavy weight off and it'll be completely flat. So, you have to decide which way 
you want to go. Do you want to go the traditional way and stretch your paper by pinning it and taping it to the board and then coming back a few hours later and it'll be completely flat? Or do you want to use one of the two methods that I've mentioned? The dry method with the board and the clips or the wet method where I just wet the plexiglass and stick the paper to the plexiglass. So you choose. I hope this has been useful. If it has, please click that little subscribe button and the bell icon and it'll let you know when I upload the next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, there is an artist in everyone. Bye for now.